Really, there is nothing to worry about in case you have deleted a purchased app on your iPhone or iPad. You will find the below steps to restore a deleted app on iPhone or iPod. In the past, it was not easy to restore any deleted apps on iPhone. Users would pretty much buy the app yet again in case they had deleted it accidentally or did not have a backup on their local computer or iTunes. However, Apple now links every app that you have downloaded from the App Store to your Apple ID and stores the app in your account. This makes it really easy to restore deleted apps on iPhone or iPad. You will find two different methods to restore deleted apps on iPhone or iPad. Let's talk about the first method. You can restore deleted apps on iPhone from the list of purchased apps as available on App Store. This option is suitable in case you do not know the name of the app and you are not sure about which apps you had deleted from your iPhone. 1. Let's open App Store from your iPhone. Make sure that you are signed in with the same Apple ID that you had used to purchase the apps. 2. Once you are in the App Store, tap on the profile icon. This is located at the top right corner of your screen. 3. On the account screen, tap on purchased button. 4. On the next screen, tap on not on this iPhone tab. This will bring up all the apps that are currently not available on your iPhone. 5. The next step is to look for the app that you had deleted and tap on the cloud icon next to the app. This will begin the process of reinstalling the app back on your iPhone. There is another method. In case you had recently deleted the app and know its name, you can quickly search the deleted app on the App Store and install the app back on your device. For this, you will have to 1. Open the App Store on your iPhone or iPad. Make sure that you are signed in with the same Apple ID that you had used to purchase the app. 2. Once you are on the App Store, Search for the deleted app by typing its name in the search bar. 3. Now, tap on the deleted app as it comes in the search results. 4. The next step is to download and install the app back on your device. Since you have already paid for the app, you won't be charged for downloading it again from the Apple Store. As mentioned above, all the apps that you downloaded from the App Store including free and paid apps are linked to your Apple ID and these apps are stored in your account on your Apple's cloud servers. What is good about this setup is that practically every app that you purchased or downloaded for free from the Apple Store would be available in your Apple Store account. Even if the publisher of the app removes a particular app from the App Store, the removed app will still be available in your account. However, this setup of saving every downloaded and purchased app to a user account can create a huge list of free, purchased and discarded apps, which makes it difficult to find a particular app from the huge pile of apps that are linked to your account. Also, Apple does not allow you to permanently delete any of the apps that are linked to your account, which makes it difficult for the user to get rid of it, especially the unused or embarrassing apps that you might have downloaded in the past. I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much.